Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ben Layson, and this week's video is all around Uniqlo again. It's just a store I love. And I bought two shirts for them. One's their made to measure shirt, and the other one is their just off the rack. I'm gonna be comparing the two, as well as I got two different styles of the button down shirt. One is the open wide collar, and the other one's like just their button down collar. It's not that much of a different difference but I'm just gonna be comparing slash reviewing the two shirts and see how the fit changes if there's that much of a difference between off the rack or made to measure and it's also just gonna be a video to show people like a ch really cheap button-down option because this thing was only around like $30 and with that we're gonna jump right into the videos all right so just a general rundown of the two shirts I bought here's the first one this is the off the rack shirt um this one came with the button-down collar and I think it was like a size small and then the other one is the made to measure. The only thing you could adjust with those, the only thing you could adjust with those two shirts was the uh, the next the neck size and the sleeve length, and then just the type of fit, regular slim fit. I got slim fit for both of them. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the overall fit of the two shirts. As you can see right here, this is the first shirt that I'm wearing. Both of them fit pretty much the same in the body part, like the torso. Uh, the armholes are nice and tight so there's not much fabric that poofs out on these sides as well as the sleeves fit pretty nicely especially in the forearm however the biceps is a little bit baggy for my taste I feel like they could be a little bit less but other than that the fit overall is still pretty good for them also the slim fit it's nice because there's not too much fa fabric that billows out on the waist or that just too much fabric in general in the torso as you can see from the side view and also both shirts the tails are pretty long they go like halfway down my thighs so it's really easy to keep them tucked in and they stay tucked both of the shirts have a standard placket and it's just the, pretty much the collar that I got different styles on I was mainly trying to compare the fit of the two that I got the fit overall I can't really talk about because they fit pretty much the same You'll see in this video yourself how they fit pretty closely. There's one big difference with the made to measure is that the collar size. I got like a 14 and 3 3 quarters, which is what I usually get for button-down button down shirts, but this time it was a little bit too tight. I couldn't tighten the top button at all, as you can see. But other than that, they fit pretty much the same. So moving on to the next thing, the quality. I'm just going to be talking about both of the shirts in general for this one. They are pretty nice. One thing with the white button-up shirts I noticed is that they're sometimes see-through, especially like ones from H&M, but these ones I did not have that problem at all, really. They can be see-through, like you can see, if it's light out and like in the sun, you can see your skin undertone a bit through the shirt. It's not too visible, it's like you have to like press it against the shirt, but other than that, I'm pretty impressed. The collars, the placket and the cuffs all have a denser fabric to them so it's gonna be a little bit less see-through in those areas as well as there's like a little lining on the shoulders you can see that's denser as well and another thing to know with these shirts is that I wore them for a little bit and I didn't get like itchy at all it didn't irritate my skin at all which I've had some shirts do that's because they're shitty quality I guess but another thing is also these shirts do attract lint so you might want to get a lint roller just to keep it nice and clean. The cuffs are pretty stiff, so it makes it really easy to roll them up and keep them rolled up along your arms. And other than that, there's not too much to talk about towards the quality. For 30 bucks, you're getting a pretty good deal. I always feel like Uniqlo is pretty good for their price point. And also, Uniqlo has a big selling point on these shirts that they are non-wrinkle slash easy iron shirts, and that even after washing them, that they don't wrinkle. I found that to be true. The wrinkles aren't really that all to there as you can see on me um, there's a bunch of wrinkles however in the sleeves a lot from the pack from how they came shipped which they haven't like gone away yet from where I'm guessing other than that though the made to measure shirt the one with the wide collar that I couldn't put up the top button on I tested that theory out by balling it up in a backpack for like 40 minutes before I tried it on and as you can see it's not wrinkly at all really wrapping it all up I can't really lean which any which way between which one's better if you're trying to look between buying the made to measure or off the rack. The made to measure I would know about sizing up on the collar, just one or two sizes just because it's a little bit tight for me personally. That's something I wish I did differently myself. And then just in general, these are both really good sh shirts for $30. So if you're looking for a button up shirt, I would definitely go with these ones. Uniqlo just for the price point of $30, it beats H&M in quality at least for me personally because I've tried on H&M shirts for their button-ups and they just 
they're a little bit see-through on the white ones for me and they like they attract a lot more lint than these ones did i've also tried zara azos forever 21 and other places for button-ups and they just and this one's just definitely the best fitting in the torso region for me that i found and also the cuffs are pretty stiff which i like with this shirt so it just makes it really easy to roll up all right guys so thank you for watching that was just a quick video on an affordable option for a button-down shirt or just a comparison or slash showcase if you're trying to see what the shirts from Uniqlo are like. I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe down below if you're interested in more content. And I will see you all next week.